Okay, let's do this again, then we'll talk about more. So where are we at now? If we start in, there's nothing here but archive stuff. Let's just go ahead and do it from scratch. Let's go in here and let's create, let's import. Okay, and the page got imported and then we're gonna do our universal fixes on it. And we're done and we do our code of ours and we're done with that. Then we run the thesaurus sound for the placeholders that we're going to need for the next step. And so as soon as that's done, we're good to go. And we're not going to need the replace editor in this case because we're not going with these variations on the wording. Now that I have that done, I can do this bit right here. And that creates my two sets of articles that I need right in order. So if I want, I can copy and I can do the bottom one first if I want these to come out in the order I'm expecting. So there we go, cut that, add another article, and we go back and we add our other article. And we start the process. And we just have to wait. That is, I'll just pause for a moment, let this finish up. Okay, it got done, and it only took about a minute, so let's go ahead and open these in new tabs. And we can see that they're in the order we wanted them in. <laughs> Doesn't really matter which order came first, so we're going to select all, copy, and go in here, and get a new tab, and double click, paste, and accept that. And then that's the first one, so now we do the rest. So here it is. Select all of that copy it, go here, double click, paste, and accept that. Now we can hit convert from, and it got all that done. We can make sure it went all the way across, which it did, 1611 in this case. I guess I'll just go ahead and make sure that that's right. It is 1611. So now what do I do? I go alphanumerics back to the coding for all the statics and the coding and it'll have that done in a moment and there we go so I can make any changes I want now to continue finishing this sheet up it's almost completely done though everything's pretty much done here so now what I can do is hit the header generator as soon as I'm satisfied and stick this on a new line or a, a new sheet Sorry. If you run out of sheets, just hit this tab to create another sheet. And that'll work fine too. And code reassemble. And there, that's done. Run the replace editor on that. And that's done. And then save it as HTML. Come back. Get rid of that line because we don't need it. Remove the SSSs. And we're done. And so I can save that as CSV. And we're done and that's good and so we're done with all of this and we have what we need I can save this thing in the archive and I may as well replace what was there now I can run the Moji Pro on it by connecting to it right one two and that's correct the paths are right this is going to be for mojiaffiliate.com and I'll upload to FTP server later. Save that as 1-MA say. Anything will do. And I'll go next. And of course that's right. There was the unexpected. I can quit. I don't need to save it. Uh, that I forgot about. Drop that. Yeah, it always creates that and we'll take care of that glitch before long. Okay, so now let me get back in here. 1MA. Alright. Now refresh. And I can start and I can go back and next again to get the arrow to pop up here. And this is where I can start creating my entire URL breakdown structure. It can be geo-targeted and then product and then feature. It can be product then feature then geo-targeted. It can be anything. Uh, finally, uh, marketing genius is exposing a secret. It could be anything like that. Um, um, instead of genius, let's take that out. Let's just say marketing video training system 
and we can continue with whatever we want fast robust software something like that uh, fast robust automated uh, there's got to be something like software in here somewhere <laughs> but even if not then let's just go with product okay and we can continue all we want uh, and we can say finally marketing video training system slash fast robust automated product and we can say that's good enough now I could get that ID column in. I may as well do that now right and so it would be something like where do I want to put it I know I want to in there do I want to move it up <coughs> training system yeah let's do that let's make it here and we're gonna say something like this uh, training system slash and then we're gonna say something like special dash offer dash and that'll be the number and there we're done with that and that's the end of that folder it's just special offer one special offer 127 and that's going to continue on with this entire thing and that works it does work and that's okay and so we can process this now and let it create those pages which it's almost done doing there's a hundred <laughs> and a hundreds just for testing save it anyway doesn't hurt to hit the save button I can rename this to something like 1-MA for my records so I know what the run was all about and here you have it the entire breakdown I've got my index 2 in case my index is I did not want that overridden that's my backup and I can go inside any one of these things and see exactly how this looks and there you go and the only thing I did wrong was forget about this how fast is that to correct for? It's very easy. I could delete it now because I realized, oh yeah, that's right. I need to do something about that. And another thing I might want to do is stick a sitemap link into the page. And so let me just show you how that would work. Find space question mark, replace it with a question. Oh, whoops, didn't want that. Control H for replace space question mark with a question mark. And that's good. And then I just need to figure out where how I want to put somewhere in here a link to the uh, sitemap so I might do something like this I might go um, paragraph align equals and maybe center and the paragraph and what I'm going to want is for this to say sitemap maybe with a small s and the way I make that work now is with an ahref, right? Equals, and it's going to be the full path to the sitemap. So it's going to be uh, uh, moji-affiliate.com sitemap.html. Oh, okay. And that's the end of that. And that is for. that's right there's the link and the wording is going to be sitemap and if I wanted to I could make the font smaller and stuff don't try to hide it completely font size equals I'll just say negative one okay to make it smaller and that would be a cool way to go so let me just see how that looks and make sure I like it okay as long as it's reasonable then I'm gonna go with it there it is it's very small it's at the bottom it's there no matter what it's okay I could change the colors something like that I just don't see a need to right now and so I can leave it like that I could make it white you know with a with a font color equals white command so just to show you uh, there we have it and font font size equals one and we'll say color equals um, something like um, gray even let's see if that works okay again I don't want to hide it I want it to be visible I just want it to be way out of the way whoops there that's that's pretty decent and that's okay and I can leave that be and that looks all right and so now I can go ahead and run this thing out right and so let's do that and this way my question marks are corrected 
And not only are my question marks corrected, okay, it's done, so I can rename it now. Rename, 1-MA. My question marks are corrected, and not just that, there is a link to the sitemap on every single page. And so I am making sure that all my pages are ultimately connected to one another. The only other thing I need to do with it, and that's not there yet because we haven't uploaded anything. <clears throat> the only other thing I need to do with it, um, what did I want to say? Well, let's upload it really. <laughs> and so I can upload that thing. All right, so that is straight. I like the way it looks. I like the way it acts. And so I can set this thing up for FTP. How do you do that? Back. I need to create the FTP path that goes here. And this is a subdomain on one of the websites we have. And so I just need to know what that information is. And okay, and so now that I have the information in, I decide how many pages I want to upload. And I'm good to go. I could upload a lot. One thing is this works slowly because these only work on one thread. So this is going to actually upload slowly. By the way, I changed the var structure because I actually just grabbed another profile from earlier uh, to be able to actually capture the login information. Couldn't locate it right away, so I stole it from another profile. <laughs> but whatever the case is, it's uploading them right now. And you'll see it's going slowly. This is the kind of thing where you can walk away from your computer and let your computer do the work. Now, it would move a lot faster. It does about 100 per minute. Okay, So in 10 minutes, that's 1,000 web pages uploaded. Now, if I wanted to go much faster, I could just do it with regular FTP. I could just simply upload the pages on FTP directly instead of through here. The reason you would want to go through here is when you're running several projects at once. We use batch files, which is the next step. It allows you to not even have to open this at all to process pages. You just hit a single button and it puts them up. By the way, it, it was able to get 96 up out of 100. Not sure why, but it doesn't matter. And so they're up. And we can go see what they look like, really, except one thing I know is that the index page got overwritten, right? So if I were to connect to that particular spot and go down, there were already pages there on the site. I see this is will have overwritten with one of the variables. And so when I look, OK, this is just a reminder about how to correct for something that was a problem. If I look, refreshing, OK, yeah, industrial toughness software. I don't want that to be the main page of this site because it is unique content anyway. It's not from somebody else's website. If it was, then I would want to leave this alone because I don't want the wording to match someone else's website. But I know it's our wording. <coughs> no one else had it for that reason. Whoops. I'm going to rename this to just a regular index.html. 